Okay guys, we're back. And this is fishing part two. So we left off with the pole like this, you know. And so I remember you turn it here and you gonna turn it, you know, so the string is here. You pull the string down, you're gonna hold the string, right? And remember you flip this over. So if I were to let go of this string right now, Letting go of it just lets it fall. So, sorry. So that's basically what that is. So let's put this step into action. So this reels it in. So now we're back. Remember, you turn it. So it's like this. My string is here. So I pull my string to hold. And I have this thing, I flip it over. Okay, that's what you do. And so to cast it, you can do it in one hand or two hands, but I'm holding the camera. So see, it's just dangling over the water. Nothing's tangled. We have a weight and bait. Okay? And so you pull back. Your finger stays on this. Okay? And then you're going to throw it like this. But when you throw, you release this string out of your hands. So. I just, I just did it a few feet off the dock, you know. Whoops. Okay. So mine's in the water. So once you cast it, you flip this wire, or no, gosh. You flip that, this thing over. You flip it back over. So now I'm in the water. Okay. And so you are slowly going to reel in, okay? And it's called keeping the line taut. So you want to hold your pole down diagonally like this. So the pole is kind of face down. And the string is taut. So it's not like waving in the wind. Your string is taut. Okay? The so string is taut. And to keep the string taut, in order to do that, every 30 seconds or so, depending on how hard the wind is, you will just reel it in a little bit. Just keep the line taut. Now, I have a feeling that I'm not going to catch anything during this video just because of the circumstances. It's high noon, and um, normally, if you want to get the best fishing, it's in the morning and the evenings, in the middle of the night. And um, currently, the fish I'm going for, catfish, come out during the evening. So, in order for you guys to understand this video, it's easier to do it during the day. So, I'm not going to be able to catch anything, but so. You always keep, so once you're kind of like, okay, this cast is pretty thorough, it's pretty done, reel it in. Now you don't reel it up all the way to the top. Like stop there, like that's perfect place to stop, you know? You don't want to um, reel it in too much. And so that's how it's done. Okay guys, hope this was um, educational in some way. I'm short fat guy's granddaughter, so. Um, I have some of that experience, but um, comment if you have any other questions. It was really hard to film this. Um, our camera is um, currently <laughs> charging, so I had to take this on my phone. But um, um, comment, like, subscribe, do all that. Little brown girl with big dreams over here. And um, hope this turns out well. And definitely one thing about fishing you're going to want to know is when you feel the fish starting to bite, if your line is taut, you'll feel the fish when it nibbles, if your line is freshly taut. So you feel it nibble, and you don't want to immediately start reeling in when it nibbles. When it nibbles, let it get a good bite, then jerk your pull up. That's called setting the hook. So now the fish can't get off, and you reel it in slowly. Let it feel. And if you actually, if you get hold of a big fish, you're supposed to actually let it go a bit, you know? Um... And, um, and taking the fish off, it really depends on what you catch and how you hook it, so I can't really explain that, but I hope this works. Watch part one if you didn't, you know, but, um, I hope you catch something.